We've got Ryan Cantor on the line from Shaking the Southland. Uh, please join him and the rest of the staff right there for the very best in Clemson football coverage. And the spring game is coming up uh, this Saturday, April 14th on ESPN at 2.30 Eastern time. So, Ryan, uh, my YouTube channel would probably get shut down if I didn't ask you about quarterbacks. Uh, people would think I was insane because, of course, that's the storyline and the narrative that everyone's talking about surrounding Clemson football, especially considering Kelly Bryant taking too much of the brunt of the blame uh, from the Sugar Bowl loss and only six points on the board, but also a couple five stars on the roster in addition. So your thoughts about quarterback and uh, the guys protecting them? Yeah. So last year um, at the spring game, we were really interested to see the quarterback competition, but the offensive line struggled so much. It kind of uh, kind of marred the whole the whole game as far as uh, what you could learn from it. Um, I think Sean Pollard left with like a minor injury you already have the offensive line split in half. So it was really bad. They were just running for their lives. So hopefully that's not the case. And we get a great look at these quarterbacks. I think the quarterback stable this year is better than last year, given we've added Trevor Lawrence and uh, Hunter Johnson has more experience. Chase, uh, Chase Bryce has more experience. And obviously Kelly Bryant has a whole year uh, under his, under his belt. Um, I expect Kelly Bryant to start. I think our, if you look at Clemson's schedule, um, to no fault, fault of their own. I mean, Texas a and is a tough schedule, um, and as is Florida State every year, and they're on the road, both of those. They just happen to be down. Clemson's schedule is pretty easy. I, I think they could go 11-1, 12-0 with the steady senior quarterback. The question is, are, are you going to beat Ohio State? Are you going to beat Alabama? Are you going to beat a truly great team with him? And, and that's – we'll see if he – I want to see if he can um, be dynamic, not just as a runner. Can he also pass? Can he hit intermediate and deep balls? Um, so that will be interesting. Obviously, everyone's excited to see uh, Trevor Lawrence. We'll see him for the first time. So that's obviously exciting. Uh, and that's that's kind of a given why I didn't even mention it. Everyone's excited to see him and also see what, what type of progress Hunter Johnson has made, as well as Chase Bryce. Ryan, you mentioned uh, possibly facing Ohio State in a playoff, and, and, and you did that with a straight face. Now, I've got Clemson supporters contacting me all the time, and, and certainly 31 nothing comes up all the time. So until Ohio State actually steps on that field, considering what's happened twice here in about the past five seasons, uh, uh, obviously Ohio State's a great program, but Clemson has been the better team and the far better team uh, the most recent time out. Well, the spring game's coming up, and, and in addition to covering it and having an eye on the playing field and and um, wanting to see particular upcoming athletes uh, perform, you are obviously uh, have uh, additional ties to it and, and enjoy the surroundings and the vibe. Yeah, so, um, you know, it's on ESPN, so you could probably get a better view just watching on TV, but I'm excited to get up there, tailgate for a little bit, Maybe head on over to Doug Kingsmore, watch the, uh, at least part of the baseball game. They play Miami um, over that weekend. So just an opportunity to get up to Clemson uh, and, and just enjoy because it's going to be a while before the season starts. So any excuse to get up there is a good one. Ryan Cantor, Shaking the Southland. Please join him right there for the very best in uh, Clemson football coverage. Of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. When I say that, I mean, I've got a voice. I bring on the best media contributors across the industry. They've got a voice. And of course, you have your voice with um, bringing your comments uh, and questions and uh, your discussion and debate. Uh, Ryan, it's always a pleasure and uh, hope you enjoy the spring game. Thanks. Appreciate it.